So hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in case if you are new here on this channel and don't know what the channel is about, I basically talk about Korean and Chinese webtoons or manhwas. So for a little background, I started reading manhwas when I was a teenager back in probably 2019 December or November. So I mostly read romance manhwas, so I will mostly focus on them. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how the Manwa community has changed over the past four or five years from my personal experience. So I will try to keep the video short and unfiltered. So when I started reading Manwas, I think stories like stories with troops like reincarnation, transmigration or body swapping was very rare. And I think every Manwa has its had its own individuality which I think the present manwas lack now. But I do agree that there are some exceptions, so I am leaving that. So I'm gonna be making comparisons on some basis. At number one, plots or tropes. So back then, I think every story had a unique plot of its own, like father-daughter relationships, knight, princess relationships, boss, employee, or sad manwas used to feel authentic. But presently, I feel Manwa community is flooded with stories having the same trope or cliches which had been popular in the past. See, I am thankful to the writers and authors because of their hard work. But as a reader, I want something interesting which I haven't read before. Now, every other Manwa has a predictable plot and you can guess from miles away what's in store for you. So back then, Manwas used to make me feel excited because I used to wait and think what's going to happen next. And I could not guess the correct thing. Predictability absolutely ruins the reading experience. For me, I want to feel excited and like thinking what's going to happen next. If this happens, then what the protagonist will do. But now I can smell from miles away what's going to happen. See, even if the troop is same in most stories, it needs to have a unique take on it so that it can distinguish itself from the rest of the manvas, which most of the romance manvas are failing at. Number two, art style. See, back then, every other manva used to have a personalized or customized art style. But now, every other manva feels like it has been factory manufactured. And I feel that personal touch is missing, which is very essential for a good reading experience. Even though I don't have dementia, I still have difficulty in distinguishing characters from different manvas. For me, I feel the art style should be based on the plot of the manva. So I still remember back then, male leads used to make my heart flutter. But now when I see a new male lead, it feels like, oh, I have seen this before. And I don't like it when I feel that. Number three, pacing. So we all know that pacing absolutely plays a very crucial role in enhancing a reader experience. So back then, manwa used to be slowly cooked. You could feel the tension between the two protagonists. You would find yourself shipping them and your heart would flutter the first time they used to hold hands. And even... 100 chapters used to feel like it's worth it. But now, in like 30 to 40 chapters, the protagonists get together and they're already planning for a baby. And now, you don't have to wait. You just swap a finger and they will just deliver it to you in 40 or 50 chapters. Number five, impact they have on readers. For me, I consider a manwa as good when they evoke some sort of feelings in me or when they're able to make me feel connected to the characters. Not every story needs to have a good ending, but it just needs to make me feel something. But now, I think the reading experience is hampered because I don't feel that connection anymore with the present manwas. Maybe it's because of same plot or predictability or same looking characters, but for some reason I don't. So. Being a reader, I really want the manhwa community to go back to how it was before. Like trying new things, trying different art styles, or like have good dialogues, or pacing needs to be just. And these are my personal opinions, and they might differ from yours, and it's absolutely fine. That's it for today. So till the next video, sayonara.